What's up, Comic Universe? DPZ rolling solo once again, and I'm here to talk about some MK11 news. And we got a few things, uh, both for C2E2, and I'll get to that in a moment, but we're going to talk about some new character reveals that I don't think they... I don't know if you could call them new, honestly. I don't think you could really call them new by any means, stretch of the imagination. What you can call them is seeing new character moves, I guess you could say, because we knew these two were going to be in here from the trailers alone. And those two are Jackie Briggs and Kotal Khan. And I gotta say, I'm liking what I'm seeing from these two. I like that we're both going with grappling on both characters. Kotal, it's kind of cool because now Co it's actually kind of revealed that Kotal is not blue, bluish green, it's war paint. He actually wears war paint, which I guess kind of goes against what they did with him in the comics of having like, oh, that's his skin, but Oh well, I guess that's not the case anymore. So, what I liked is, especially out of the two, I especially liked uh, Kotal uh, in action, of just seeing more of a gra gra bleh, grappler, and seeing more of just what kind of damage you could do, just summoning the totems to either increase your stamina or your health. Um, I especially love how they've adapted the Makwaddle, his, uh, his Aztec weapon, which can basically go into your side and saw into a little of you before throwing you, uh, throwing you against the other side of the arena. You also have him actually turning into a jaguar now. You actually having him as a cat attack. So maybe, I don't know if that, like, maybe it's a possibility to bring back animalities, or maybe him getting the jaguar form is a reference to animalities. I would imagine it's more of the latter than it is the former. Um, also, real quick, did anyone who was watching uh, the combat cast get n uh, get a sense of basically, um, like when they saw Kotal's uh, fatality? Did anyone else get the impression, get like the thought of uh, basically um, Legends of the Hidden Temple? Did anyone else think Legends of the Hidden Temple when you saw Kotal basically kick someone's, you know, Jackie's head? out of her body, skull, spinal cord still attached, and then summon a giant skull, a stone skull, down on the altar. Which, yeah, I immediately thought, Omak, of Omak, uh, the moment I saw of that giant uh, temple weird-looking thing, I immediately thought, that has got to be, that is totally a reference to Legends of the Hidden Temple, and you cannot fucking tell me otherwise. So I definitely enjoyed Kotal's uh, move set. Um, I also enjoyed Jackie. Uh, Jackie Briggs now definitely going more of a grappler, although she was more of a gra she was a grappler before, but this time the grappling is very obvious here. I especially like how they've kind of adapted a lot of the um, Muay Thai move sets with her, because when I was watching her uh, gameplay in the um, in combat cast, I was especially surprised of how much we were seeing of uh, from combat cast of how much. Uh, it looks like they took a lot of um, inspiration from Sagat's move set because there were some moves that Jackie did in the game that made me go, "That's totally a move you'd see from Sagat, um, who was also from Street, you know, from Street Fighter and was a you know Muay Thai master." So I was definitely surprised that we had, we were seeing a lot of uh, more Muay Thai, and they actually stated, yeah, she's going to be, we got a lot of inspiration for this moveset for Jackie and MK11 from Muay Thai fighting. And I'd also imagine that, like I said, they probably got some inspiration from Sagat from Street Fighter, because there were some moves, like I said, that totally felt like Sagat. Uh, but yeah, but the fatalities, oh, and the fatal blows from Kotal and Jackie, respectively, were fucking off the chain. Seriously. I loved uh, her fatal blow, uh, Jackie's fatal blow, in that she creates that little barrier, shoots the bullets, they ricochet off the barrier and come back through the holes they fired through the body. It's, oh, it was so cool. Um, Kotal's was also brutal as always. I, I was especially surprised of how, just, just how devastating a lot of the attacks were from both of them respectively. Um, I was also impressed of how well these characters, because not a lot of people played as Jackie and Kotal before, but I was looking at, during when I was watching the combat cast video, I was looking at a lot of people going, yeah, I'm totally going to main Kotal or Jackie now when I get the game. Um, and that, like, yeah, that's really cool. I enjoyed Kotal and Jackie in the game, so it's, it was really neat to see them. 
Um, we also got a bit of a backstory for Kotal now. We have a little more of a backstory in that Kotal was a general for uh, Shao Kahn, but Shao Kahn feared his power. So Shao took Kotal and threw him into one of Shang Tsung's flesh pits, but when Shang Tsung was, was killed, um, Kotal managed to escape, and then he took the throne, and it's apparently a little more in the lore of Mortal Kombat. Kotal is actually, Kotal's bloodline is actually the true leaders of, the, of uh, Outworld. They are the, tr you know, Kotal Khan and his race are the true, uh, one true heirs of the uh, Empire, of the, uh, I guess you could say Outworld Empire, I suppose you could say that. Um, so that's pretty neat. I like that little one minute lore right there. So, another bit of news that I'm going to break into now is that on Friday, Friday, maybe even Saturday-ish, they, uh, um, Ed Boon and the rest of the guys from MK11 are going to, um, they are going to C2E2. And this is really big news because not only are they going to reveal more characters, they are also going to reveal DLC characters. So we are probably going to see our first guest character. When I say first, I mean yeah, because good chance we're probably going to get more. Remember, we got four guest characters in the last game. We had Predator, Jason, um, in the first half, and then the second one, it was Leatherface and Alien. So, no doubt in my mind that we are going to get some, you know, we're probably going to get the first news of the combat pack. If not that, at least the first DLC character. We're probably going to get news of the first DLC character. It could easily be the first guest character, but it, you also have to remember that Ed Boon's a sneaky son of a bitch. So, it could easily also be the... It could also easily be the... The, um... Um, just another character. It could be just another MK character. The word got away from me, sorry. So, yeah. And they actually, like, were trying to stop themselves multiple times throughout the combat cast video of basically saying, I do can't say that. So, it's really cool. I'm hoping it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna be a guest character, because remember, Jason got revealed when MK, when MKX was, uh, close to coming out, they revealed Jason as the first D DLC character. So I've got a feeling that it's probably going to be a guest character they're going to reveal for DLC, for the first DLC character, and then reveal the other characters for, the other, the other characters will probably be MK, and then we'll have to wait for the next combat pack from then on. So that's probably going to be the case uh, for this as well. But all in all, I am really excited. I loved what I saw with uh, Jackie and Kotal. I'm really excited for uh, C2E2. And you can bet your ass that uh, me and um, C Dubs, as, as well as Jay, are going to be on the are going to be on it when we get some news on MK. You know, so stay tuned for that. We know you guys love the MK. You know, we've been we know you guys a lot of a lot of you guys came here to the channel for MK11 news. That's really hot. Uh, that's really hot right now. So we ain't. You know, we're gonna try our best to give that to you guys. Anyway. So you guys tell us in the comments below, what do you, what did you guys think, if you watched the combat cast, or at least the trailer for, for Kotal and Jackie, uh, what did you guys think of the characters? Um, you guys like the new movesets for Kotal and Jackie? Um, what do you think the, uh, who do you think the DLC character will be? You think it'll be a guest character, MK character? Comment below, let us know. Uh, we're always interested to hear your feedback. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.